Welcome to T4G Sports. In today's video, we're going to show you guys what the real difference is between three-star gems at free safety and four-star gems at free safety. So without further ado, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, click the notification bell, and don't just play the game own the game let's light it up so if you guys don't know what we're using we're using our t4g scouting data which you can find on our website in the link in the description below also you can find it on our youtube channel in a playlist and this t4g scouting data gives you exact numbers of what to look for on how to find gems okay so what we're going to do is we're going to compare the averages of these gems for three star gems compared to four star gems and we're going to see what the difference is really between three stars and four stars at free safety another thing guys we just want to give you guys all uh, a big thank you to those of you guys who are subscribed to our youtube channel we consider you guys our t4g alumni and uh you guys are awesome you guys are really awesome hitting that like button and commenting down below goes a long ways for us as a company and uh, we just really appreciate it thank you to all of you guys who are super who have super thanked us you guys are awesome we, we cannot stress it enough and how much we appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we're going to jump into the hybrid guys first. So we'll go over each one of them. Speed, four stars are looking at a, a plus three point average gain on speed. So you're looking at a 95 compared to a 92, which is, that's pretty fast. I mean, plus three is fantastic. Awareness plus seven for four stars over three stars. That is a lot. That is much more than I thought that that would be, um, and their awareness is still not even that high. But that that is that's pretty big, especially if you don't use or play in with that position. That could really benefit you. Man coverage, you're looking at a plus five on man coverage. That's a big difference. That is a big difference. Acceleration plus two, tackle plus four, agility only a one point gain for four stars over three stars. Zone coverage plus six points. Play rec, plus eight points. Pursuit, this one's interesting. You're looking at three stars have have a plus one point advantage over four stars, which is, I just didn't think that they would win uh, that. COD, dead even. There's there's no difference. So to give my, my final thoughts on the three stars versus four stars with hybrid guys, I would say from these numbers, there is a big difference, particularly if you're not playing user play with these guys, with safeties, if you're, you know, whatever position you user play with, that awareness is is going to help because it's CPU controlled. So that awareness is going to help the man coverage, zone coverage, tackling, play recognition. They could be, I would say, vastly different. It's a bigger jump than I really thought it would have been. I did not expect them to be as high on, on some of these numbers. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the four stars compared to the three stars when it comes to hybrid safeties. I am, I am definitely impressed. Okay, so now we are going to cover the run support guys. And, uh, you know, again, I'd like to say, like, when it came to the quarterbacks, there were some quarterbacks that there was not as big of a difference. So far, I've been impressed with how big of a difference there is between three stars and four star gems when it comes to free safeties. So these run support guys, play recognition. Four stars have a plus five point average gain over three stars. Tackle, plus five for four stars. Speed, plus three. Pursuit, one gain, one point gain. Acceleration, two point gain. Awareness, six point gain. Zone coverage, six point gain. Agility, two point gain. Man coverage, three point gain. Hit power, one point gain. They're a little bit better in the sense where there's no negatives or they're not four stars, three stars aren't better. Uh, if you looked at the hybrid, the pursuit was better for the three stars. There is there's nothing better for these guys they they on their pursuit they have a one point gain over them so pursuit is close between the three stars and four stars on both of these guys uh hit power is also very close um you can see a tendency here where hit power was like a no gain for the hybrid and for run support guys you're at least getting a point gain so they're positive in every way they're not even at all so again, I, I, I'm actually impressed with the four stars. I think the four stars, I'm, I'm now curious to see what the difference between the four stars and the five stars are. And I can't wait to release that video for you guys um, because it is very intriguing to me so far. Very, very intriguing. I, I would say a very noticeable difference between three stars and four star gems. Okay, so we're going to move on to zone guys, but I want to clarify really quick for you. These are only the averages of the gems. Remember, some of these three stars can be really high, and that's why that data is very important, because those differences 
we're looking at the average gems. So if you're looking at some of the three stars and you find some of them that are on the top of the top of the list, that's why this data is so important. Those numbers are going to be way closer. You can actually find some four, three stars that are like really comparative to the four star averages. But also take, you know, take that into consideration that if you find some of the four stars that are on the high uh, spectrum of that, they lean at the very top, then again, it's, it's going to be relatively close to the same. I mean, so that's why this data is important because you could find some of the guys that that's why we call them squeakers, where they're like squeaker gems. They just squeaked on by other guys that are like, this is clearly a gem, like even three stars that we've come across. It's like, this guy's a four star average gen like he's good and then some of which that you find some four stars and you're like this guy's a, a monster um he is not a four star he's not even close to a four star he's a five star he is a beast okay so tay i just wanted to really clarify that uh, with you guys so zone coverage guys you're looking at the zone coverage six point gain on average for the four star gems over the three star gems uh, which is pretty significant. Awareness, five-point gain. Speed, one-point gain. Lower than I thought it would be. I expected that to be higher. Acceleration, two-point gain. Tackle, four-point gain. That's pretty impressive. Pursuit, one-point gain. Okay, we're seeing that's about the same. That's a going rate. Agility, two-point gain. COD, three-point gain. Play rec, six-point gain. Jumping, six-point gain. That's impressive. So I would say the zone coverage guys, they're not far off of the other guys either. Like there's a big difference between the two. I mean, some of these free safeties that you can get, some of these four star free safeties, they could be monsters. I mean, just the average versus the average, there's a big difference. But then you talk some of the, the those guys on the very top of the charts, man, those some of those guys can just be absolute freaks. I'm impressed. I am definitely impressed with the four stars here across the board. I'm impressed also, I want to clarify, I'm impressed with some of those high octane uh, three stars as well, those three star gems. Some of those guys are monsters. You got to look out for them. If you're just comparing the average, obviously four stars are going to dominate, but that's why you got to use that data to really determine, am, am I getting a squeaker or am I getting a dog? And uh, obviously, you want to get the dog. So, wow, I, I'm impressed. My final thoughts on this is um, if you're looking at the averages, four stars are clearly, it's not even close. It's even it's even greater than the quarterbacks by far, um, which you got, we recommend you guys go watch that video. But these guys are significantly better on average than the three stars. So let us know what you guys think down below.